let's go together through the main settings. We go to Options, Settings, and we see a window which opened. Here the program is asking us about the language. As you can see, we can choose between English, Spanish, French, so a lot of European languages. Please, right now, let's keep it on English. And the language of printout. The language of printout could be English, French, and we have there a lot of possibilities. Uh, the difference between the two of them is that, for example, I can work in English, but I can send the selection to the customer in Spanish, let's say. Right now, we keep it on English. The printout. The printout could be long or short. What does it mean? It means that I can send it with less infos to the customer, it means short, or I can make it more detailed and that means long form. Again, on the right side of the page, we have basic settings. Let's click on it. Here again, the program is showing us in which language he is operating. Right now it's English. We can switch it to Spanish or French or any other language from here. We will keep it in English. We can choose the unit, very important, on 50 Hz if we are talking about the European Union. So if the unit will go, for example, here in the European space or on 60 Hz, that means if the unit will be exported or we can keep it both 50 or 60 Hz. Let's put it to 50 Hz. And here down we will see the ERP the directive. It means when I would like to export my unit to the European space, I can click it. When I know that the unit will go outside the European space, I can go to the second point, click it and give OK. Right now we will assume that the unit will stay with us in Europe, so we will click it, the first point there, and OK. Again, we can make the software update, we can proceed, or we can update the delivery times. As we already made them, we will just go further on. We click OK. And we are here in our GPC program.